Hey there, um, I'm going to talk to you about what possible reasons you could have for your microwave to trip the circuit breaker while it's cooking. So you're cooking your food and you pull the door open and interrupt and it breaks, it trips the circuit. Now that's not happening now because I've fixed it and I don't want to unfix it. <laughs> For the demonstration and you'll see why in a second by the way whenever you're testing stuff always make sure you have something in the microwave to cook um okay so the first thing i'll tell you is this if you do have the issue of you're opening your door and interrupting the cooking by opening the door and it's tripping the breaker um the first thing you should do is check your switches those switches are there's a housing in here that you can feel you can feel the the metal plate and right behind it there's a housing that's screwed in from the side behind this panel that housing holds three switches one up here and two here there's great videos on how to check those switches make sure they're working um, and make sure you also check them mechanically by just physically with your finger clicking them you'll hear them you'll see what i'm talking about when you get in there um, it takes five or ten minutes to get in there it's not a big deal you should totally do that first before you do, um, or in addition to what I'm showing you here. So I did that and fixed my microwave about four months ago. And I thought I was good. Well, a couple of days, or actually it was yesterday, it, it started doing it again. I would in, pull open the door, interrupt the cooking, and it tripped the breaker. So I thought, oh, it's just one of the switches again. It must have got gummed up again, and I'm just going to go in there and fix it. Well, I pull them out, I test them with the voltmeter, I f physically test them, they're, they're good, they're working, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. So then I'm thinking, dang it, I don't know what's wrong here, and I'm reading about capacitors and all this stuff. I came ac uh, across a comment online that said if, if the timing between these two is off, it might be causing a power surge. In other words, if these are disengaging from the switches which are back inside that housing or they're, they're back in there and the hook is touching that and engaging those switches and then when you open the door the hook is pulled up and disengages if that timing is not happening correctly it will cause a power surge so um despite the fact that i was researching buying a new microwave i woke up this morning and thought i'm gonna give this a shot so I realized to test this, I could just simply start cooking my food. And instead of opening the door at the bottom, which is very common, especially if you have kids. Um, but for, for example, mine is, mine, mine is at nose level right here. So this is where people open the door. Instead, I just open the door from the top and just kind of twisted back like this. Put a little, little uh, strength into it, a little torque into it. And when I did that, it stopped breaking the circuit, stopped tripping the circuit, right? The, the circuit breaker. It stopped doing that. It just worked. And then I tried again, then I tried it again. It was work, work, work. Then I reached down here and just kind of went with one finger and I pulled from here and sure enough, tripped the circuit. So then I realized my timing is off here. That's what's going on. This, when this is released before this, it causes a problem. Okay, so then I realize there's probably, well, there's at least two reasons that your timing can be off. The first is the door latch. The second is this housing. With the door latch, you get wear right here, you can see. I don't know if you can see it, but you can imagine this probably used to come down more and it's worn out a little. Both of these were worn. The other issue that could happen, and oh, by the way, maybe there's a, an issue with the spring in here. There's there's a, some issue with the latch, right? The other issue could be the uh, housing here. So this housing that holds the switches is this plastic that I, might be softer than this other plastic because you can see wearing in it. And so as that hook goes down, and it really is probably this one, as the hook goes down and then you're pulling especially if you're constantly pulling from the bottom like most people do i imagine there's more it's pulling on that more and now you're you're, you're wearing this down more um, and potentially that's affecting when it disengages uh, from the switch so in either case um, it's an easy fix 
What I did is temporarily put some duct tape on the lower hook here of the latch. I put two pieces, one on top of the other, um, and then one to wrap it. And by the way, don't use the crappy duct tape. Use the high quality stuff. It doesn't gum up and it will stick better. And obviously this is not a permanent solution. <laughs> Uh, I think if I told some of my buddies that I fixed my microwave with duct tape, they would they would just immediately start making fun of me. Um, so yeah, that's not this is not a permanent fix, but it turned it just works. So now, um, and I'm not going to take it off and show you what it was doing before because uh, that would that would make me have to redo this duct tape and get it just right. But now, when I open even from the bottom, it's working. Um, so I initially put one piece, it fixed it, but I thought, huh, let me put another one just to see if that still works and gives me a little more flexibility. And sure enough, that worked. I put a third piece on and what happened is at that point, when I'd close the door, the fan would just start running. So I realized, Ooh, okay. I put too much. So I took it back off. I took all pieces off and reapplied one and then two pieces on here. And that seemed to be the magic number for me at least. And, it, and it's working. Um, so hopefully uh, this can be a way for you to test after you've taken a look or in addition to looking at your switches. Um, here's the thing. You can do this test first before you open it up, right? You could you could do it and go, oh, look, that's that's fixing it. Okay, it's the timing. But it's possible that the reason, a third reason that the timing is off is not this or or this housing, but it's actually that the switch is gummed up or something is going on. It takes 10 minutes to get in there and check your switches. So do that no matter what. Um, even if you try this first and see that that's the problem. Because uh, once you do that with the switches, then, then you'll, you'll um, have eliminated that possibility. Um, and also just kind of learned about how microwaves work and how to fix them. So uh, there you go. Good luck with your project. Take care.